I want to welcome everyone, beautiful spirits, you have been so helpful to me and I'm so appreciative of your likes, shares, subscribes. In this reading, look at what we have. We have the opening card for how you feel right now in love. Three of Swords energy. It's really feeling as though there's a third party or another situation or feelings from someone from the past, or your partner's feelings about someone else. This could be children, family. I hear so many things as a professional psychic about families interfering. But it, you know, it can be a third party situation, but I always want to caution you that what I'm seeing for you, Aries, right now, is that you really want romance. You really love someone who you know loves you back, but it looks like there is a stalemate. There's a sort of lack of communication. Both of you, the overall energy between the two of you is that you're holding on to each other. There is a very strong soulmate connection here that could go the distance. We have two hearts beating as one. There is no lack of love. But what I do get is that there is a lack of being able to make a clear-cut decision and a clear-cut decision, clear-cut action or choice being made to come together. Both of you are in this energy of, well, I haven't decided whether I'm going to leave you or not based on some truth that's, you know, very evident to both of you right now. The spirit of coins, you know, we get that movement of coins, excuse me, that's a knight of pentacles. You are moving slowly forward. You are making progress, even though you can't see it. Seven of Cups says that both of you have really not been able to make a decision. You're very confused about the relationship. But what we see is two people who love each other, who are in this stalemate of what this love needs to look like. Let's look and see what the Energy's Oracle says for you in terms of advice. Because I get there's no lack of love, but we're going to clarify this briefly. Uh, just the tough cards. Okay, so the power of purpose. So it's almost like the two of you are madly in love. You've been together a while. Life has taken its course, you know. It, life always intervenes, right, and makes things more difficult. But what I don't see, and I think the problem that I see here, is that both of you are not in it to win it completely. You're both halfway in, halfway out the door. There's a sort of lurking sort of feeling that either one of you could leave at any moment, and that is threatening the foundation of this relationship. So when we look at Spirit's message, the power of purpose is all about Hey, I'm here. Uh, we're going to like go into this mud mud uh, pool and we're going to stay there until we come out with some clarity versus confusion. We're going to tell each other our truths, but we're going to do it in a slow, considerate way. We have a burst of magic coming forth for you, Aries. Good. And then we have the, a powerful move. So one of you steps forward and makes a powerful move in the relationship to try to solve the confusion between the two of you. It is going to be incredibly important to be gentle in your speech in this situation. Speaking your truth, Aries, you are the sharp end of the spear. So you have a tendency to be very blunt and very straightforward and very honest. What I'm seeing, though, is you have a partner who has Spirit of Cups, Scorpio energy, as well as this energy, uh, well, it's double Scorpio energy, that if you say the wrong thing, they may be, become very punitive or very undone by that, by that information, if it's not, you know, something they want to hear. I get the four of the Four of Pentacles says that both of you are holding on to each other. Four of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. So through all the heartache, you're not giving up. I don't see either of you giving up. However, if you do not resolve whatever the core issue is here, um, we do see one of you or both of you walking away from each other. There's a, a sense of, I can't deal with this anymore. I don't know where to go with it. I don't know what to do with it. So I'm walking. So that is the potential energy presently. It's like hanging in the air. Okay, so why do we have the King of Cups? 
we have the King of Cups, the Hierophant card. Your person's very traditional. It's Taurus energy, very emotional Taurus energy. Grounded, but somebody who is on the surface always calm, but underneath they're churning inside. We have the movement of cups, and that is a knight of cups, romance. So you haven't been romantic in a while. We see both of you sort of packing this in, sort of giving up on romance, you know, a special night, a special dinner, sharing, you know, somebody giving another a flowers or, you know, hey, I fixed your favorite meal. Why do we have the two of swords? What came between the two of you? Ah, another person. We have the King of Wands energy. That's a lot of egocentric energy. Egocentric, we all have, a healthy ego is a good thing. But what I'm seeing here is that you're caught up in an ego battle of non-communication. It's like, oh, you think you can hold out? I can hold out on you. So that's not really progressing the relationship. Tell us why the King is here. The, knight, uh, the Nine of Swords. Both of you are very worried. So you're putting, you're trying to put a powerful face and cover up the problem. The Nine of Swords is this is keeping you both awake at night. At night, you know, if you're sleeping together, I think most of you are, many of you are. Um, both of you are secretly very worried about this. Why is the Four of Coins here as your overall energy twice? king of pentacles okay so money is coming into play here in this relationship king of pentacles this is taurus energy taurus energy four of coins both of you trying to hold on to the relationship but also being very concerned about and it can be traditional values i mean there may be an issue with values and when we look at the king of pentacles it's a daddy card it's like i take care of the family the hierophant card i do all the traditional things so there may be some difficulty with that energy in terms of money in the relationship or responsibilities whatever you value is what a coin is it doesn't have to be tangible but it oftentimes is um we see the two of wands why have not have you not been making a decision you need to throw caution to the winds, and you will in the near future. Why is the Two of Cups here? Well, because you're super happy with each other, but it is cl these cards dropped out with it. You still are not wholeheartedly in this thing permanently to win it. And the Devil card says that both of you are trying to manipulate or control the decision making, the dialogue. I don't, you know, you're really helpless here. I, I get the death card with the devil card. What I'm seeing is there has to be a death, a death to the toxicity. The communication has to become much better because the two of you don't have a lack of love. You have a lack of, uh, you have a, you don't even have a lack of clarity. You have clarity. You have a willingness to do the work. But we see two people emotionally unraveled. The Eight of Cups is clarifying the Eight of Cups. You know, both of you are walking away from each other in the present circumstance. You know, what is the clarity that needs to come in here to help you? Romance. Again, romance, romance. You've given up on that. You need to romance each other. Why, why is the Knight of Pentacles here for a beautiful Aries friends, a sun card? The truth be told is that, you know, if you move forward very, you know, in a very considerate way with each other, you can find your happiness again. It's right there. It's right there for you. You know, we all get lost on our paths in all of our life in different ways. We have justice card. You guys need to be balanced. Get your head out of the clouds. Think about what the truth is. Think very much about, stop thinking about the Scorpio potential for ending. Both of you are feeling fearful of an ending. And the Seven of Cups, both of you are doing this. You know, you could be fantasizing about another person. You could be keeping your options open. You could be talking to someone else. But that Justice card says that the karmic result of that is going to be a massive argument where things get said that are pretty rough that you know and we get the king of cups again so what i'm seeing here for you aries is i feel like the other person that you're involved with has this taurus scorpio sort of they might be a taurus sun moon rising or venus if they're a taurus a taurus uh, sun or rising on the astrology wheel i feel as though if they don't get their way they just leave but they don't want to leave so the energy right now is very much in flux. Let's get, um, you know, the advice here 
is for one of you or both of you, you know, to bring the magic back, to do something sweet. You know, if, you, if you're having a tense moment and, and you like to bake, for instance, you can bake your person's favorite cookie or whatever. You know, for anyone who likes flowers, you know, maybe you'll pick up those flowers for that partner of yours. But you need some magic here. Both of you love each other very intensely. If you walk away from this relationship, you will both live to regret it. And I do not think that you can rebuild it after you walk away. If this thing breaks up, I feel like it's broken forever and there will be no resurrection. We get the energy, you know, of making a powerful move. Get outside your ego. Stop saying, well, that's the way I am and they need to accept it. Or, you know, I'm telling the truth and, you know, it's the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. But you're, if you're doing it with a knife, and that cuts the other person. That's what I'm really seeing is the, the mystical part of this. And Aries, you're very direct, and we love you for that. But what I'm seeing is that you're dealing with someone here who has very deep, turbulent emotions who may not be able to handle the directness. So, I mean, we're all adults in the room. Your person is very reliable, but you, you're your relationship right now needs communication. You have to bring the magic back. You have to have some forgiveness. You have to separate yourself from situations that are pulling you apart or people uh, in relationship with your connectedness. Again, if there's family, if there's any sort of traditional issues here, you're going to need to solve those or make a decision to walk away from that as opposed to from each other. So that is Aries, and that was pretty long. Okay, so I'm going to just...